Good morning everyone. This is another session on palmistry and I'll be discussing about the lifeline in this video. And uh, the lifeline starts from this point and it goes down in a nice curvy way. And that's known as the lifeline and I'll be going into detailing and I'll be trying to make you understand more points related about the lifeline, right? Now, the lifeline is is the, the starting point is very important of the lifeline right now start it can start from this point of the headline right you can see it starting like this or it can go more inside it and start from here so from here to here the in this case when this lifeline is starting from here the person will be more independent and will become independent faster whereas in this case the person will not be very independent and will become independent a bit later in life so the relative starting of the lifeline with respect to headline can tell a lot if it's starting from here or uh, just uh, touching at one point and starting very early from the headline then the person is more independent and and will become independent earlier in life and the further it is the f uh, the later the person becomes independent right so that's the relative positioning now again uh, if the lifeline starting is also important it can start from here and it can start from here so here if it starts from here the lifeline starts from here the person is more ambitious the person is uh, less cautious and less sensitive but, uh, not really less sensitive but yes less cautious and more more definitely more ambitious in this case the person uh, if, if the lifeline starts from here the person will not be very ambitious but yes will be more cautious and if it starts from inside then the person can be a bit sensitive so these are the three or the conditions or the places from where the lifeline can start now if the lifeline uh, if now the breadth of the lifeline with respect to this part right the breadth of the lifeline or this or the curve or it takes is also important now for example this is very large and the lifeline comes till the center then the person tends to enjoy life to the fullest and is physically active also by physically active means he is engaged in sports or he walks he jogs or in some or the other way the person is more into physical activity if the lifeline tends to come out it can also indicate that the person is uh, more uh, independent right so independence now if the lifeline starts from here say and it is going out now this means that the person was not independent but this curve means independent so the person was dependent on his parents or on any other people for some time but later on become very independent so that's how you can read it but if it starts from here and it goes way out then the person definitely will be more and more independent same way if if it curves very closely and uh, you know this this breadth is not much so the, the so the lifeline comes like this and the person will not in will not enjoy that much of uh, you know will not enjoy life to the fullest and probably uh, will not be very independent also will be quite dependent and you know the energies will be less the person will be less active physically and uh, you know uh, the person will uh, can be a bit lazy or in any case the person will not enjoy life to the fullest or probably the person uh, the probably the person is uh, less uh, you know having less vigor or physical stamina now if it is going in somewhere in between right it's going in between then obviously it's a more uh, means the person is dependent and independent somewhere stuck in between and physically he'll be fit and fine right so that's how the breadth of the lifeline is also important now the curviness of the lifeline is also important now if you see this is actually known as the mount of venus right this is the venus mount and if you see the lifeline taking a very sharp curve here right you see it taking a very sharp curve then the person will uh, tend to enjoy life to the fullest and will travel a lot and you know uh, he he wants or he she wants a lot of travel a lot of uh, diversification the person will travel to different places will be very active in traveling and things like that whereas if the curviness in the end is not that pronounced then the person wants to travel but he wouldn't be over enthusiastic about it but in the case it curves around and the person definitely wants to travel a lot and has an urge to travel or to go to different places anything can be true right now the lifeline 
if it is uh, you know ha having a bit of patchy formation like this it's it's like this then it goes down and comes so it's it's into patches what it means is that a life pattern was broken so the person's thinking every time change in a way the first the person was quite uh, you know if you see the patches like coming in like this then you see it here then you see it here. so continuously the person's life's pattern has changed and the person has changed his strategy towards life and that has led to the breaking and the shifting of the lifeline uh, from time to time right now the offshoots these are known as the offshoots which come from the lifeline and if you see it going towards the mount of jupiter then the person is said to be having more vigor and more ambitious and the person will definitely move ahead in life and in general that is the case because of the ambitious nature and it can it, it generally comes out from the beginning part of the lifeline the longer ones that's because when you are you know 20 25 whatever when you are at that age and you have more energy and you tend to become more ambition that's why this line indicates towards that and your forcefulness is more and uh, that's why you you are likely to accomplish a lot also if you see a lot of offshoots going to jupiter uh, in the beginning of the lifeline right many offshoots can indicate so you see many offshoots here that can indicate towards a bit of a moody nature but uh, it's more towards ambitions if it's going towards jupiter going towards different mounts will make it take the qualities of different mounts right down shoots on the contrary right you see a lot of down shoots and that they can indicate towards drawbacks or setbacks or a very good sign it can mean that the person had few setbacks and was not happy about it and that's how it is right now many horizontal lines continuously cutting across the lifeline this is the lifeline you see a lot of horizontal lines throughout the life not the lifeline itself is like that then obviously the lifeline was always into check a lot of hindrances a lot of obstacles right so that's how it should be read now so the darkness now we'll go to the darkness of the lifeline so if your lifeline is like this this is one condition one is like this okay very light and ag again another is very light right so we are going from very dark to very light now in this case the person will be physically very active and in this case the person will be less active in, le in this so the darkness of the line is also related to the physical activity of the person right so the darker it is the more physically active the person is now in relation with other lines suppose the headline is this one which is going you see the headline the lifeline coming out you see the headline to be very dark and you see the lifeline to be very light the person mentally is active but not physically if you see both of them to be dark then the person is mentally and physically active right so those are the interpretations we get now if you if you see a line which comes out from the lifeline and goes towards the mount of sun then it's a very good sign it means something good happening because it's it can be read as the sun line coming from the lifeline and you know from life somehow or the other the person will get some success and, and that will uh, can give him fame to an extent because it's a good sign to get a sun line from the lifeline it can indicate towards some success financially or fame wise right now apart from that you know uh, this is the lifeline which i have discussed this is the lifeline and inside you know whenever there is a break in the lifeline this is the lifeline whenever there is a break in the lifeline a sister line always supports this break so inside line is actually a sister now, suppose this is your lifeline and you see a break and then there is a line inside and this is known as the sister line and this is always an influence which is present which help you recover from a drawback and your life continued smoothly after that more the lines here more the support was there now you see us uh, so lines inside the lifeline are known as sister lifelines and they always protect you they can also indicate towards your karma or if you're doing well uh, on that direction it can also indicate towards that the person is more energetic now if if inside the lifeline you see you know if if this is the lifeline say and you see a very close line running across it then that's known as the mars line and that always adds more power to the lifeline lines running away from that are known as influence line and uh, they tend to tell different people's influences on your life right now <coughs> uh, we all always remember that lifeline 
if it has uh, dots if it has dots if it has bars if it has crosses or stars are not considered good so stars dots horizontal bars circles and and chaining are not considered good on the lifeline right now if your lifeline has a chaining effect right if you see it totally chained right if you see it totally chained right like this it goes and full of chains right you see it full of chain and the uh, then the and you see the headline and the heart line to be fine but still the lifeline is changed then though the person is emotionally fit logically fine but somehow the life conditions or somehow the life turns out to be uh, full of confusions to so the person is head and heart wise clear but you know uh, the the because the lifeline is changed there will be some or the other confusion same way if you see the heart line uh to be having a lot of chaining and the headline to be having a lot of chaining but the lifeline is totally fine so though the person is very confused though the head wise he is very confused heart wise confused but the life turns out somehow to be uh you know successful or uh, not having those many problems uh, as uh, which could have been caused because the person was so confused right so but always remember chaining effect is not good but it's not to say that chaining cannot be removed it can be removed with the person's thinking you know the many people it was found that they had a lot of chaining effect in their lifeline but uh, when they improve their life conditions the change uh, the change tend to uh, disappear obviously wherever the chain will come in for example you know this is the lifeline right this is the lifeline it is going down say and you see at the starting part a lot of chaining right then that means initially the person was having a lot of confusion and then not then of course you see two patches like this say so initially there was some confusion the person came out of it again went into confusion or some frustrations so that's how the chaining effect has to be considered right now if the initial part of the lifeline you see uh, and the headline you see a lot of small circles or island then that can indicate towards the childhood times of the person or childhood might not have been very comfortable or at times there was some problem even circles even diamond or triangle shaped uh, wedges you know triangle shaped signs like this like this you see small uh, triangle like things uh, when the lifeline starts and all interpret towards the same uh, circles triangle starting point can indicate a bit of frustration earlier in life now the lifeline timing starts from here it goes from 0 and it goes till the bottom and let's say about 80 right so that's how the life line goes 0 to 80 and you can uh, trace any timing of any event on the life line you see a dot here then obviously 0 then around 30 some frustration was caused you see a dot here around 20 some frustration was caused right so that's how you can time it always remember not having life line does not mean Uh, uh the there's a problem with the person or the person dies it's nothing like that it only means that the person has not considered life very seriously or he might not be physically very active right you see the venus and other mounts to be doing well and you see no lifeline at all then the person is not very physically active or probably uh, not giving that importance to life it does not mean death as claimed by many palmists Uh, life not having lifeline does not mean uh, not having life right now apart from that if you see the lifeline coming in and then you see uh, no line coming in the end then in that case the fate line sh can be taken as the continued part of the lifeline at times it does give a better reading because it's something like the the lifeline went out it merged with the this line and continued down so this uh, transition kind of took place so you know in that case fate line can be taken as the uh, reference right so uh, we learned that if the lifeline is not present it only indicates that the person is not physically active or has not taken life that seriously or there can be different interpretations of that right having a tasseling effect you know uh, the line going in and you see it broken into small small pieces so you see a lifeline which is going and you see a lot of uh, tasseling and finally the lifeline has stopped and that's not a good sign 
that means that the person has just given up on his life tasseling effect but after a tassel you see a influence line coming so someone came in to help the person and you see after tasseling the lifeline coming in then because of the influence the uh, person overcome all this right apart from that stars on lifeline definitely the person has some health indications and the person should be very careful in case a star is written on the lifeline it's not considered to be a very healthy sign right apart from that if you see so if, uh, apart from that uh, if you see the health line coming out from the lifeline again there can be some health issues in this case because from the lifeline if the health line is coming out then there can be some health defects nothing major though uh, but still the person should be careful about the uh, health of the person right now uh, apart from that if the lifeline is full of dots right full of dots full of dots and full of horizontal bars and obviously we know that the person is always into check always there is some frustration because the dots uh, tends towards or tells towards frustration horizontal one means blockages so a uh, line full of this or tasseling or chaining they are not considered good on the lifeline so dots horizontal bars chaining islanding are not considered good and uh, uh, whereas a star is also not considered good on the lifeline right so hopefully you understood a lot about lifeline in this video uh, from the starting point uh, to the curviness of it and uh, uh, to the uh, to the curviness at the venus uh, we also discussed about how how the breaking of the lifeline should be read we learned about the breadth uh, concept we learned about the relatively starting point of the lifeline we learned about the darkness of the life and all uh, another point if you see the lifeline to be very reddish in color uh, or you see red dots coming in that the person can be a bit you know uh, aggressive and it can indicate towards uh, impulsiveness and uh, not a very good sign if you see red dots or red kind of formation white can mean that the person is more indifferent we know that yellow means that the person is sad about something or it is bilious so it's not very good so uh, a pinkish color lifeline is the ideal lifeline to be found in the hand right so we understood a lot from this video the negative signs the positive signs about something about the sister line the mars line uh, discuss also about its curvature we discussed lines offshoots from it Uh, chaining effect and we discussed a lot of points in this video about the lifeline so hopefully you understood more about the lifeline in this video and uh, you tend to understand it into more depth in this video and uh, hopefully uh, you will make or you can make use of this uh, video to uh, check in with your own lifeline and understand as to where your life is going and control the way you want to because lines change according to a person's thing and that's why we i always say you know if you're thinking positive if you are hoping for good things your hands will also indicate the same right thank you i'm shwetank into palmistry take care bye bye